your love is like radiant diamonds bursting inside us. We cannot contain. Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to Faith and Family. Um, today, we are going to talk about preparing for Holy Week, specifically preparing for Palm Sunday, which is this Sunday in two days. So soon. And Palm Sunday is a special day of the year. It's the day we commemorate when Jesus uh, rode into Jerusalem on a donkey and the people were so, so excited and so happy to see him. They were singing Hosanna and they had big palm branches and they were waving them in, in the air and laying them down uh, on the path so that even the donkey that Jesus was riding on would have something soft to walk on instead of just the stones and the dirt from the path. So that is why um, on Palm Sunday, we get palms when we go to church and we uh, do the same thing with their, their blessed palms and we hold them and we sing Hosanna. Um, and then you might take your palm and take it home and keep it somewhere in your house. But then guess what? The palms from Palm Sunday are actually um, kept all year and then they're used, they're burned the following year. And that's where we get the ashes for next year's Ash Wednesday. So pretty cool. And while some of you might have palm trees at home or in your yard, um, some of you might not. So we're going to do a really fun activity today that's going to help us make our own little palms to use on Palm Sunday when we watch Mass from home. So what you're going to need is some paper, um, preferably green paper if you have it. If not, whatever you have, and you can color it green if you want, and some scissors, and a stapler, and, um, and hands. You'll need some hands too. So the first thing you're going to do is get a piece of paper and you're going to fold it with accordion folds. So kind of like if you were making a fan, you know, like that. So back and forth, back and forth. And this is going to be um, kind of like the, almost like the stem for our palm. And you're just going to staple it a few times. To make sure it's nice and sturdy. All right, so now it's not going to open up anymore. It's nice and thick. Very good. Next, you're going to get some other paper, preferably green, and you're going to trace your hands on it. So I traced Cece's hands on it earlier. And then you're going to cut these out. And these are actually going to be the palm leaves for your palm branch. Your love will surely come find us like blazing wildfire singing your name all right everyone so for today's story we are going to read god loves you written by carol rubo many many people live in the world some people are tall and some people are short. Some people are thin. And some people are not. Some people are young people. And some people are old people. Many, many people live in the world. Some of these people love you very much. Mother loves you. Father loves you. Grandmother loves you. Grandfather loves you. Many people love you very much. Do you know who else loves you very much? God loves you. God loves mother. God loves father. God loves grandmother. God loves grandfather. God loves you very much. Did you know that God made you? God made everything in the world. God made the bright, pretty flowers. God made the tall, tall trees. God made animals that run. God made animals that hop. God made birds that fly. God made fish that swim. God made you. God made everything in the world. Did you know that once there was no world? There were no bright, pretty flowers. There were no tall, tall trees. There were no animals that run or hop. There were no birds that fly. And there were no fish that swim.
there was only God. God said, let there be flowers. And then there were flowers. God said, let there be trees. And then there were trees. God said, let there be animals. And there were animals. God made everything in the world. Can you make a bright, pretty flower? Can you make a tall, tall tree? Can you make a real live rabbit? No, nobody can. There are some things only God can do. Only God can make the rainfall. Only God can make the sunshine. Only God can make the wind blow. Only God can make the flowers grow. There is something else only God can do. Only God can see you all the time. God sees you when you sleep at night. God sees you when you play outside. God sees you when you read in school. God sees you when you pray in church. God sees you all the time. God loves you. God sees you and keeps you safe. Are you ever afraid? Are you afraid at night when it's very, very dark? Are you afraid when you hear a loud, loud noise? You do not need to be afraid. God knows where you are. God takes care of you all the time. God gave you a mother and a father and other people to take care of you. God sends his holy angels to watch over you and keep you safe. Why does God love people so much? Why does God give people so many things? Why does God take care of people? That is the way God is. God is love. God loves all the time. As God's child, you want to love too. But do you love all the time? No, sometimes it's hard to love, isn't it? Sometimes we do things that hurt people. Sometimes we say things that hurt people. Sometimes we think things that hurt people. Your sin makes you do these things. Sin is doing what you want to do and not what God wants you to do. All people are sinners. But when you feel bad about this, remember, God still loves you. Even when you sin, God forgives your sin. God loves you so much, he sent his son, Jesus, to save all sinners. Jesus died on the cross for your sin. Jesus shows how God loves all people. Jesus shows how God loves you even though you sin. You are God's own dear child. You can be sure that God forgives your sin. You can be sure that God loves you. You can be sure that God will help you love him and all people. God sends you a special gift to help you love. God sends his Holy Spirit to live in your heart. God's Holy Spirit helps you love God. God's Holy Spirit helps you love other people. God's Holy Spirit helps you to do the things he wants. The Holy Spirit is God doing these things in you. God made you. God takes care of you. God forgives your sin because God loves you. The end. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We are going to do some more stuff to help us get ready for Holy Week. And uh, we'll have another story and another activity. Can't wait to see you then. Bye. Bye.